Hello and welcome back to my channel. We have to talk about Princess Latifah and what happened to her. Um, it started in 2018 when a video was released, a 30 minute video, I will link it down below, where she says that if she has been, if you're seeing this video, she has not been successful in her escape attempt and she is either dead or in a much worse situation. And we come to find out that the King of Dubai, as his daughter, tried to escape because she simply just wanted to have a life outside of him. And to be to walk away from all that money in your family, you know it's got to be bad. But she just wanted a life that wasn't what they were forcing her into. She wasn't allowed to leave the country. She wasn't allowed to study. She wasn't allowed to drive. She wasn't allowed any basic rights. So she tried to leave Dubai. She made it out and onto a ship. King of Dubai then had men come onto that ship at gunpoint and take her back to Dubai. They drugged her, put her on a plane, and took her back to Dubai. Those are her own words in her videos. We then, a few months later, hear from a former, um, a former United Nations Human Rights Watch person who says that she's fine and does this photo shoot with her and basically toes the family's line of she has bipolar disorder, she's not stable, we just brought her home to protect her and we don't, she deeply regrets making that video. And she's now retracting that statement and being like, I had no idea that this was a setup, we didn't talk about anything. And Princess Latifah even talks about the fact that when she was there, she did not talk to her about anything other than sports and other things. And she was told by Princess Haya, who is the um, king's sixth wife, I believe, who escaped to, um, to Britain and actually used Princess Latifah's case to seek asylum and protect her own children. And the UK court deemed that Princess Latifah was kidnapped in 2018. But we have not heard from her since that those pictures were taken. And many of us that have been following this story have been deeply concerned that she might be dead. There are new videos being released of her where she's talking about the fact that she is being held captive in a villa in Dubai where five police officers at any given point are guarding her and there are bars on the windows and she is not allowed to leave. She wants to leave and she is not allowed to leave. She talks about the night that she was abducted off of that ship and she talks about the fact that it is solitary confinement and that they beat her. She doesn't directly say that they beat her but she talks about her face being bruised and her body being bruised. That comes from a beating. <sighs> This is not the first time the leader of Dubai has done this. He did this to another daughter in England and back when I believe it was 2013 or 2011, sometime in that time frame, he kidnapped another daughter who tried to escape while she was in England. Again, Princess Latifah took her two children and went to England to seek political asylum because she was concerned for their safety. This man is really bad. And now that these videos of Princess Latifah have been released a year later, I am still very concerned for her safety because the videos are a year old. They were taken from a cell phone she wasn't supposed to have and no one's heard from her. And if she gets caught with the cell phone, she has admitted in her own videos that there will likely be severe punishment for her. The problem is this is not making major news sites. I have not seen this on major news sites. I've seen this on the BBC and I think I've seen it on um, an Australian broadcast but I haven't seen much being covered by the US or anywhere else. And we're cozy cozying up to this guy who's literally holding his own children hostage and will not let them leave. He kidnapped two of his own daughters and is holding them hostage because he can't bear the fact that they don't wanna do whatever it is that he wants them to do. These girls need help. The United States government, other governments should not be cozying up to this man while he is holding his daughters hostage and not allowing them to leave. This is a huge problem. No one's discussing it. It really needs to be discussed. I will link the, both sets of the videos down below where you can watch them for yourself and you can see the shape and condition she is. My heart breaks for her. She looks incredibly sad. She looks incredibly downtrodden. She looks like they've done a toll on her, but I will give her credit. Through all of this, the amount of strength and courage she had <coughs> shown is absolutely amazing. So we need to bring awareness. We need to, to help them because 
it's bad and it, it goes to a deeper human rights issue in Dubai and we will discuss that in a later video. Alright guys, I will see y'all later.